Hi everyone, so I'm back with uh, another quick tip uh, this time around. Not too long ago, I saw this Voronoi Morph uh, tutorial by the Houdini Masters at Intagma, and it's really an impressive one. Uh, techniques that are shown over here. Um, I found it uh, rather intriguing that uh, this uh, effect that they made uh does go through the basic techniques of uh, how to achieve uh, this sort of effect but it doesn't uh, take us through the completion which we have these uh, extrusions and then they uh, you know become smaller top faces uh, they also are uh, smaller uh, and in fact uh, one of the people who were commenting yeah there it is uh, they also asked as to how they can extrude these Voronoi polygons to get the effect of the animation at the start of the video. Uh, Moritz did reply that uh, that the poly extrude soft is your friend, which uh, actually is true. But uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to uh, take you through how to be as close to this effect that you see in the final video. So the tutorial uh, that takes you from the start to this point that you can see. And uh, I would suggest that uh, uh, to get to this point, I'm not going to spend any time uh, covering what's already been shown by Antagma. So to get to this point, I would suggest that you go and check out uh, their tutorial. I'm going to zip through it uh, over here and then I'm going to uh, go about showing how to do the extrusions on our Voronoi morph. Okay, so this is where the tutorial left off. Uh, we had this, uh, and you could move this attribute transfer, uh, the distance threshold to move this effect out. So let's see what we can do to make this uh, effect uh, a bit more similar to what we saw on their title animation. The first things first, what I can do is uh, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this attribute transfer node to be red. And that's something that I often do is uh, basically uh, color, uh, use a different color or different template or shape for my important nodes. So if this uh, node tree was populated, I don't know which uh, node I'm looking for. Uh, anyway. <clears throat> Coming to this attribute create, uh, what I do want to do is uh, create an arbitrary uh, color attribute. Uh, it could be anything. Uh, let's call it CD and set the value to 1. So uh, we have this red color. And in this attribute transfer, I also want to transfer my color attribute along with this P scale. So same parameters, but just as the P scale is transferring, I also want the color attribute to transfer as well. So like if I were to come over here, you can see that uh, this should be transferring. And we have this error, I think. Yeah. So let's drop in an attribute blur. Now, the what next uh, I can do? Let's, so I'm going to drop in an attribute for angle. Uh, basically, what I want to do is uh, coming over here. I don't think it's going to work. Uh, okay. I think I should set this value to 3. That should fix it. So it's a 3 float vector, basically. Yeah. Attribute blur, point shader, this, and this. Okay. So far, so good. 
I want to do over here is uh, in this add trip uh, wrangle is uh, I'm gonna drop in an if condition what I wanted to do is uh, wherever uh, the color value is more than zero I mean basically wherever it's not black uh, I want to transfer that uh, those uh, points into a different group and the reason why I want to do this is because okay uh, I think it was mentioned in one of the comments on their uh, website uh, under the comment section is how is that we can use uh, the poly extrude node now in essence it is correct because if i were to drop in a poly extrude like so and if i were to move it up let's say 0.15 that's just going to uh, move all those polygons with or without this Voronoi morph happening wholesale and you know outputting a back group uh, outputting the back uh, doesn't solve uh, this problem either and if I were to if I try to make this uh, small let's say do a transform then obviously that's not gonna work another SOP is the primitive SOP that is useful but even that is not applicable over here because let's say if I were to check on do transformations and let's say am i outputting these groups here I extrude front and let's do an extrude side just in case if i were to do an extrude front and let's say uh, i only want to do this on the x and the z scale so i'm going to copy parameter and then, then i'm going to uh, paste relative reference if I were to set this value to 0 0.8, then again, this primitive SOP is also rescaling these, uh, these faces wholesale. So whether or not uh, it has this Warnoi morph happening on them, uh, it's not uh, respecting that. Basically, what I wanted uh, to do is with Warnoi morph that is happening, I wanted to speak with this primitive SOP this uh, attribute transfer that we did uh, this is so far a primitive attribute uh, point attribute sorry and this primitive attribute like the name suggests even if we were to go over here and check the tooltip it says primitive uh, it only works on primitive groups so let's delete this let's delete this and okay i think i should just leave this poly extrude just in case come over here uh, this attribute triangle that we have and we got to make this uh, somehow come over here on this side of the stream and i'm gonna use an if condition and say that if at uh, cd dot r is greater than zero basically wherever it's not black then put this in a point group and let's call that group shrink so let's see how many we have uh, points do we have in the shrink group so right now it says uh, 54 points what I can also do is uh, if you recall I just said that the primitive sub only takes uh, primitives and right now this is uh, operating on points what I can do is I can do a group promote drop it over here and I'm gonna promote our point group to primitive and I want it to promote my shrink group and I'm, then I'm gonna call it uh, yeah let's call it uh, shrink underscore prim now um, so we have uh, we have taken our points uh, in the point group and transferred them in on map them basically on our primitives and we have uh, a different uh, a new group as well now uh, as I said we need to bring this pre-fractured uh, data and somehow bring it into the post fractured uh, stream that we have going on over here so uh, another thing that we can do is there is this uh, called group transfer 
and I'm going to pipe this here and bring connect this to this stream and coming over here and only want to transfer my primitive group to this stream this side of the stream and this is the only primitive group that we have so we have this one sorted now so far uh, we're getting close because right now we have uh, another group called shrink prim and while we're at it uh, let's uh, scale this up slightly so it's uh, spaced out uh, if i were to highlight my primitive sop and say okay work on this shrink prim only and let's say do transformation uh copy parameter paste relative reference and let's scale it down by let's scale this uh primitives down by 0.8 you can see that it is starting to work i mean it is starting to take shape but then uh it's only working like you know i mean if you recall in the uh in Tagma uh, tutorial, you're getting these little pyramids. So only the topmost faces were shrinking. And only the ones that had this Voronoi morph happening. So how are we going to do that? This is our main goal. And to do that, what I can do is now that we have uh, enough uh, primitive groups to work with, we have the extrude front and side and also this shrink prim group. What I can do here is uh, I can drop in another wrangle and this time I'm going to set it to run on primitives. And I can, sorry, what I can do is uh, I can use uh, this if condition and let me just press alt e to bring this up <clears throat> and say if in prim group so it's going to check uh, for this group and we had extrude front at prim num so it's going to check which group is in the front basically this top uh, these top primitives but at the same time, because that alone is not good enough, we've already showed it to you in, you in the primitive soft. Extrude front is not giving us what we want. But what we also do need is the group that we transferred from. But that group alone is also not going to work. So let's just type it anyway in prim group uh, from geometry stream zero. And that group name, it was Frank underscore prim at prim num so the current prim and if both of these conditions are met so only those points that are belong to this group and that group then if they are if this condition is true then put them in another uh, primitive group and let's call it prim sop for primitive sop and click apply no errors i'm gonna close this and let's see how many have uh, how many primitives do we have in that so extrude front has 1600 uh, primitives and shrink prim has for some reason 2000 primitives and but this prim sob the one that we want to work with the one that uh, is just uh, that we just got from this if condition that has 254 uh, primitives at this point and if I were to come over here and tell this primitive sop to only work on prim sop then there you go this is what we were looking for and I can prove the point I can just reduce this slightly so you can see that the base is still there and only the points that are on top are being shrunk and only those points that have uh, the Voronoi uh, morph effect happening are the ones that are being affected. 
So if I were to just come over here and attribute transfer and say dollar um, $t, so I should have this nice animation happening. And I think 0.6 is a little too less. Let's say 0.8. And there you go. You see this animation happening. You see these uh, nice rotations and morphings happening. And you can see this growing outwards. Um, and you're still gonna have all your primitives uh, and such so I mean what I can do over here uh, is let's just drop in a couple of deletes let's say uh, extrude side and say delete non-selected and let's just say let's give it another color and let's make them some sort of pink uh, hot pink color like so and let's copy this over here and this time say delete selected so we have uh, our top and bottom polygons uh, primitive sorry and not the sides and let's give them a different color that one was pink let's uh, give it some sort of uh, blue color I think yeah anything and basically you can even drop in a couple of material nodes as well so if you want to specify like uh, different shaders for different faces you can just as well do this and we're gonna do a merge so let's merge these two streams back and there you go So if I dare say so that it is uh, getting, it has gotten quite uh, close to, I mean, in terms of achieving the effect, uh, that is quite close to what uh, Syntagma guys did. Obviously you can do like other uh, sort of, uh, you can drop in warps and ramps and things like that to smooth it out further. But uh, the main gist of it is this one. So to go once again, go over what we did, uh, started off by creating a CD attribute, the color attribute, and also transferring that over here. And then uh, the challenge was to uh, transfer basically uh, our attributes pre-fracture into the post-fracture stream. So I'm going to use the color attributes of, to give myself a new point group. And then I'm, I promoted that uh, group from points to primitives. And then I transferred that using group transfer node to this side of the stream. And for my primitive soft to work correctly and give me the effect I want, I checked for these two conditions to be met. So basically, if any, only those primitives that are in this group and also in this group should be uh, sent out a new group and I called it prim sop only for the primitive sop exclusively and there I specified that and the rest is you can see over there anyway so uh hope you found this quick little tip uh, useful um if there's any questions or comments uh, feel free to leave them down in the comments section below and uh, I'll see if uh, if and when I can reply them uh anyway uh, thank you so much. Uh, next time. See you guys.